Alright, so Sonic's 30th anniversary, so it's time for me to look at the Sonic movie. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah, that one. It being released in Japan January 26, 1996, and the U.S. September 9th, 1999. Which came out on 999, which so happens to be the date the Sega Dreamcast and Sonic Adventure came out. So, this is one of the last times that the classic design was used. Well, instead of Underground, which that was actually the last time, but who watched that? The Japanese version was released in two parts, where the U.S. version was released direct-to-video as a movie. Anyway, let's get into the Sonic the Hedgehog OVA. Alright, so the movie begins with Metal Sonic being made as we go to South Island as Sonic is chilling out listening to tunes as Tails is surfing. Tails is just like a little kid with his new toy. Sonic! I don't care if you don't swim! You should give it a try! Just don't show off so much that you forget to look where you're going! And you might want to practice too, Sonic. This way you can get good at that and it can make you good at maybe riding your hoverboards, which you'll probably need to do. And yeah, Tails and even Sonic sound really weird in this movie. Tails just sounds really nasally. It doesn't sound right. Sonic, I can't really explain it. He just doesn't sound right. I mean, it's not the voice actor's fault. The lines are still entertaining, though, so it's not that big of an issue. Anyway, there's an old owl man who's about to crash into the island, but luckily they're able to save him. But I wish they didn't, because this guy is annoying. I mean, seriously, he's probably one of the most annoying characters in the series, and that's saying a lot! But I guess he does have a little importance, as he says that Robotnik has taken the president hostage. You know, it might have been easier if you just called to tell us that. <laughs> I could have done that too. <laughs> yeah, but guessing by the only phones they show in this movie, all of them are connected to screens and are very big, so yeah, it may have been a bit difficult to call them, since it'd probably be difficult to find one of those phones, so yeah, the best idea to do is probably that, to be honest. Anyway, Sonic and Tails go to see the president, but Robotnik needs his help, as they need to save Planet Freedom. Uh, yeah, I know the Sonic games never said what the planet's name was, but uh, yeah, they still probably should have called it Mobius, to be honest. As you both well know, Planet Freedom is made up of two separate dimensions. Uh, if they already know, you don't need to tell them, Robotnik. Tell us something we don't know. Uh, shut up! Heed me! Well, I guess I didn't need to say anything. The movie would have said it for me. Well, Robotnik still, you didn't need to tell them. Anyway, Robotnik's world has been taken over by Metal Robotnik, as he needs Sonic's help. But yeah, it's obviously a trap, because the thing's called Metal Robotnik, meaning that Robotnik probably built it, so yeah, it's probably a trap. Oh, Sonic, I don't care what happens to Robotnik or Daddy, but please just do this for the two of us. Damn, that was a really bitchy thing to say. And who the hell are you? Weren't you listening? She's the president's daughter. Wait, what? But she's half cat. How the... You know what? I don't want to know. It's best that way. Uh, anyway, Sonic is gonna do it to save the planet. And also he's doing to get some pussy. Wait, what the hell? She's supposed to be Sonic's girlfriend. Wait, what? That's fucking dumb as shit. That was a stupid damn idea. Well, I guess she is half cat for some reason. So I guess it's not that bad, and it's at least not as bad as this. Anyway, Sonic and Tails set off, but don't worry, the hostages are doing okay. Just give up, we've played a hundred times. I'll stop being your hostage. Alright, start it again. Wait a minute, how'd she stop being your hostage? Robotnik, stop being a fucking sick. And tell the bitch to shut the fuck up, because she's your fucking hostage. Whatever, they gotta go through the warp gate, but the tornado gets taken down, so they gotta run the rest of the way. And I gotta say, this movie's animation is pretty damn good. I mean, it's not as good as Sonic CD, but it's still pretty damn good looking. Right, we should hurry. Anyway, they gotta get there, but Metal Robotnik gets there, and they can't really hurt him. I'm going to be that easy! Yeah. <laughs> <Dada>. <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold still! 
but he can't catch them either, so my money's on Sonic and Tails. Got it. Oh, you can't break through this polymer alloy! Oh. And yeah, Metal Robotnik is pretty strong. Hell, Robotnik should probably start making his first boss that strong instead of making him weak as shit like he normally does. Anyway, Robotnik chases them, but they get to the end of the road and fall. Anyway, Sonic and Tails make it seem like they drowned, and so Metal Sonic leaves, but yeah, it isn't that stupid. You didn't think I'd fall for a stupid trick like that, did you? What the hell? Did he just shoot that out of his ass? Uh, anyway, the shit is pretty sticky, and Metal Robotnik has the upper hand, but lucky for them, Knuckles is there to save the day. With a hat for some reason. And yes, he probably should be watching the Master Unworld, but he has to be in the movie, so he can't be doing that. So are you going back to treasure hunting now? Of course! Finding treasure is my absolute favorite pastime! <laughs> so I assume in this universe the Master Unworld just doesn't exist. And no, in the games, Knuckles really wasn't a treasure hunter. I mean, sure, he would do treasure hunting, and yes, he was good at it, but he only really did it so he can get the shards of the Master Emerald. Normally, he wouldn't have time for it because he had to watch the Master Emerald. But I guess that doesn't matter because they need to stop the timer. Which in the original Japanese version was where the episode would stop and you'd have to go to episode 2 to watch the rest of it. But here they combined it into one movie. Anyway, they find it but they don't get there with much time left so they gotta hurry and stop it fast. Uh, anyway though, it turns on as it actually was a trap. As Robotnik actually wanted Sonic so he could finish making his Metal Sonic. I call it the Hyper Metal Sonic. Or Hyper Metal Sonic, but Robotnik, you should probably just take out the Hyper part in his name. It's just a little too much. Metal Sonic on its own sounds cool enough. <laughs> Finally, I have an invention that will mark my place in history forever and give me the recognition I deserve. Hey, Robotnik, you actually took my advice! As Hyper Metal Sonic is basically just a duplicate of Sonic, just metal. Though, if this Robotnik had a roboticizer and he roboticized Sonic, then it'd be probably much powerful than regular Metal Sonic. But Hyper Metal Sonic will work as it beats regular Sonic's ass. <laughs> Uh, you might want to make sure that he's dead. He probably just went out of range. I don't think he's dead. Looks like that's it! <laughs> Sonic will never again be a pain in my egg! Hey, Robotnik, you're not even calling yourself Eggman yet, so shut the fuck up! Uh, anyway, Metal Sonic goes to Sonic's home and finds the owl. And hopefully he kills him. Don't worry about it. He was here last night. He forced me to put on these clothes and then flew away without saying anything. <laughs> or he does that. God damn it, that's even more painful. Those are Sonic's favorite clothes, so don't blame me if he gets mad at you. Wait a minute, those are Sonic's clothes? They can't be his clothes. Sonic is a nudist. He doesn't wear clothes. Anyway, Tails works in a way to beat Metal Sonic, because the president calls and they tell him about Metal Sonic, because he probably will destroy a big ice glacier, but lucky for them, Sonic was also there to listen to this. Which is lucky for them, I mean, now they don't have to explain it again. But Sonic goes alone to fight Metal Sonic, so they're gonna fight. So now we can get down to the real fight! The last Sonic standing will be the winner! What? This world isn't big enough for both of us, and one of us has to go? Well, I agree! And guessing by how round one went, regular Sonic is faster than Metal, but Metal is stronger than regular Sonic is. But Sonic has protagonist powers, so I doubt that he's gonna lose. You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not going to help you, since I know everything you're going to do! Strange, isn't it? You know what? That's just perfection. I don't think I even need to say anything. You know what? Play it again. 
You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not going to help you since I know everything you're going to do. Strange, isn't it? Anyway. Oh! Damn! Yeah, Sonic does have a dick, just I think it's under his fur, so you're fucking still gonna hurt. Oh no! How is it that you're still alive, Sonic? Huh? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? I'll save you! No, I don't even think you can get to her fast enough. She's probably fucked. For you to come with me now. Tails! Get off! I'm so sorry. I never thought you'd stoop that low. Damn, Tails! You're such a fox. I'm sorry. Anyway, the Metal and Sonic fight continues, as Knuckles says they can move the lava if he digs a hole, but Knuckles will need a little convincing to do that. And yes, I know this girl's half human, half cat for some dark reason, but it's still weird to see this girl kissing a cartoon echidna. Oh no! Knuckles' hat burned off. Truthfully though, good riddance. I don't even know why he was wearing it anyway. But Tails decides it's time to put more of Sonic's personality in the metal, which fucks him up. Damn, I guess he couldn't take that much 90s being uploaded to his head. It's understandable. But metal is still alive as the fight continues with him being pretty fucked up, but eventually the car blows up. Wait a minute, why are those two there? I mean, why would the president go into a battle zone that makes no goddamn sense? And what? Did the owl just fly up to the president's house and pick him up? Why? That's fucking stupid. Why is he even there? I mean, seriously, why are they there? And Sonic, you probably should have thought of the consequences of hitting metal into the car, which is probably gonna blow up, so yeah, it's your own fault that the damn car blew up. Metal! But lucky for him, Metal Sonic saved them, which, yeah, is not what I would have done. I would have let them die, but I guess it's more harsh to let them live. But Sonic sees some good in Metal and tries to save him. But Metal says, no, because there could be only one real Sonic. Um, I wish that was true. No! Don't! Don't do it, Sonic! But Robotnik plans on making a new Metal Sonic. Sorry, Robotnik, but this movie never got a sequel, so I doubt you're going to be making another Metal Sonic anytime soon. It must be very humbling to be in the presence of such a great scientific mind! Ah, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> anyway, the movie ends with them running off. I'm getting out of here, Knuckles! Hey, wait a minute, Sonic! Anyway, that was the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, or the Sonic OBA, and it was fun. This movie's just a fun time. It's a short, fun adventure. Now, there are some things that are weird, like the movie having characters who will definitely never show up again, and some things that are different from the game, but the lines are just so memorable, even though the voice acting is kind of bad, that it makes it just so much fun. The movie's just fun, and it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's only about 50 minutes, and because of that, it's just fun, so... I'm giving Sonic the Hedgehog a 4 out of 5. Which is actually higher than I thought I was going to give. It's just a fun movie. But it's still weird that Knuckles was wearing a hat. Anyway, happy 30th anniversary. What? This world isn't big enough for both of us and one of us has to go? Well, I agree. You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not going to help you since I know everything you're going to do. Strange, isn't it? Yeah!